Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about long acting injectable flufenazine deconate. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about the depot preparation flufenazine deconate. For this video, there is no conflict of interest. Let me repeat, no person or any industry or pharma company has paid money to do this video. This is purely for academic purpose. Let's discuss about flufenazine deconate. Flufenazine was the first generation antipsychotic which was prepared as a long acting injectable. Initially, it was prepared as flufenazine enantiate in 1966. After one and a half year, flufenazine deconate was introduced. Flufenazine deconate is a high potency typical antipsychotic. It is a first generation antipsychotic. It has been approved for the management of schizophrenia and also maintenance of treatment in schizophrenia. The deconate form of flufenazine is a prodrug. That means the deconate needs to undergo metabolism. Upon injection into intramuscular area, the flufenazine deconate slowly undergoes hydrolysis, releasing the active drug flufenazine. This slow release of flufenazine which causes long acting or depot preparation. Flufenazine deconate is considered as the second line of treatment after oral medication. However, it also can be considered if the patient does not respond to oral medication. In many a time, flufenazine deconate is indicated when the patient refuses to take maintenance medication. That means, my dear friend, flufenazine is useful when the patient does not respond to oral medication and also if the patient has poor compliance with regard to medication. Let, let's understand the mechanism of action of flufenazine deconate. Flufenazine primarily acts on dopamine 2 receptor, especially in the mesolimbic area, nigrostratal area, and fibroinfundibular neural pathways. The blockage of postsynaptic post dopamine 2 D2 receptor in mesolimbic pathways is the main reason for remission of positive symptoms in schizophrenia, such as delusions, hallucinations, and disorganized speech. It is also known to cause antagonistic effect on alpha-1 regenic receptors. Hence, cardiac side effects and also orthostatic hypotension. It is also known to cause antagonistic effect on muscnic-1 receptor and histaminic-1 receptor. Because of this, sedation and weight gain is well known. Let's understand how to start flufenazine deconate. Invariably, if you are starting flufenazine deconate for the first time, please give only 12.5 mg of flufenazine deconate IM. Wait for one week. After one week, you can give 25 mg of flufenazine deconate IM. It can be given either on the deltoid or gluteal muscles. Once you have given 25 mg, now you can give 25 mg every fortnightly. Some patients may require 50 mg of flufenazine deconate every two weeks once. Please remember, there is no need to give concomitant oral antipsychotics. The main reason being is flufenazine deconate reaches sufficient plasma level within two to four days. Let's look into the equivalent dosage of chlorpromazine and risperidone with regard to flufenazine deconate. The first column is flufenazine, second one is chloropromazine and the third one is risperidone. 12.5 mg of flufenazine deconate every two week once is equivalent to 100 mg of CPZ, 1 mg of risperidone. 25 mg of flufenazine deconate every two week once is equivalent to every day 300 mg of CPZ and 3 mg of risperidone per day. 50 mg of flufenazine deconate every fortnightly is equivalent to 600 mg of CPZ per day or 6 mg of risperidone per day. Based upon this, 
you can calculate and give flufenazine dequinate every two weeks once. An injection of flufenazine dequinate costs only 25 rupees. That means it is very economical. The patient requires hardly 50 rupees to 100 rupees for per month dosage. That is equivalent to $1 per month. It is very, very economical and cost effective and it is effective in maintenance therapy of schizophrenia. It can be given either on the deltoid or gluteal muscles. Here you can give in rotation. In the first time when you give injection, it can be right of the deltoid. The next time can be right side of the gluteal muscle. The third one when you give after, it can be left side of the deltoid and then left side of the gluteal. That means you need to consider rotation of the side when you give injection, especially long acting. One, one, every, every psychiatrist need to know about the cigarette smoking and effect on flufenazine deconate. Flufenazine it gets metabolized very fastly in cigarette smokers, especially in chain smokers. The metabolism is increased by two to three folds, my dear friends. Hence, in such a scenario, you need to increase the dosage of flufenazine deconate if the patient is a chain smoker. Especially, chronic schizophrenia patients are known to cause, known to use tobacco and tobacco dependence is very high. A study was done by Cochrane. The title of the study is Flufenazine Deconate for Schizophrenia. Mayan and colleagues did the review. The authors reviewed 73 studies comprising 4,870 participants. They concluded depot injections may offer an advantage over tablets or oral medication with regard to compliance and adherence to treatment. Flufenazine is an effective antipsychotics. Results showed no substantial evidence that dipoflufenazine produced more adverse effect than other antipsychotics. What are the side effects? Invariably, since it is a typical antipsychotics, first generation, prolactin level increasing, weight gain, akathisia, Parkinsonism, anticholinergic side effect, sedation, hypotension, akathisia, very rarely NMS can occur and pain at the site of the injection is very common. To conclude, my dear friends, flufenazine deconate is a valuable addition to the arsenal of treatment in schizophrenia. It is a long acting in nature, provides benefit in the treatment adherence and symptom control. It is very cost effective. Common side effects include extrapyramidal symptoms, tremors, akathisia and sedation. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time.